Oh, that's a very tough question. Do, what do I like watching or what do I like filming? I grew up with Aladdin and I think it's one of the greatest Disney movies from the 90s. At the same time, it's a risk to bring back a story like this and trying to reach new audiences. So. Have you ever felt afraid about the success of Aladdin? Uh, you know, I definitely feel the responsibility. I grew up with this film as well. Uh, you know, I was born in the 90s and uh, this was one of the films that we had on at the house all the time. So um, I definitely knew what I was getting into, but at the end of the day, I think it's an important story to uh, reimagine and, and tell to the younger audiences. The newer generation hasn't grown up with the story, so I think it's important to tell them the story because uh, there's a lot of themes and messages that are, are very relevant and, and timeless. Hey, can you make me a prince? There is a lot of gray area in make me a prince. I could just make you a prince. Oh, no. Y'all see my palace? What about working with Guy Ritchie? He is a, a director is totally different from the Disney concept. And it's it's great what he, he, he did with this movie and all of you. So how do you feel about working with him? Uh, you know, Guy has a special place in my heart. Um, I love him and, uh, you know, I knew that he would bring something special to it because if you look at his filmography, he's really focused on stories with criminals and thieves. Um, so, you know, we talked a lot about what we wanted Aladdin to be like, what we wanted him to feel like, and um, he just let us go and, and uh, do our thing as actors. So. Uh, it was a very freeing process to work with him. This uh, new movie has a lot of new elements in your character and in Princess Jasmine, so what does it teach you, this new Aladdin? Uh, you know, I think it all stems from the change that uh, Guy and the producers and the creatives made with Princess Jasmine. Uh, we've really focused on making her more empowered and, and uh, you know, she's going on a different journey in this film. And Aladdin helps encourage her to do that, and um, you know he wants to um, let her see that she can follow her dreams as well. And I think he represents one of the few men in the story that um, feel like she can do a good job and she can be the leader. So in a way, I think he represents the shift that's happening in our society now. I love what Disney have been doing with their Disney heroines. You know, they've really just been humanizing them and it's really about the character behind the princess or you know whatever context they're in. Uh, so for me, it's you know it's 27 years as you said since the original. It's a real natural progression actually from from uh, uh, from where we were with the animated movie. Uh, the idea that she should lead, I think, is makes sense. <laughs> it's a very logical step, uh, and I love in the movie. Aladdin, and this is you know part of the reason why I love how Mina played Aladdin. I think he was just he really is the perfect uh, choice. You look like a prince on the outside, but I didn't change anything on the inside. Showtime. No, I'm in charge. Okay, I say when it's time. Really? I think that ultimately the message is the same. The message of self-discovery, um, accepting yourself for who you are, knowing that you are enough that you do have value, um, but I just think that the characters have more depth and each character goes on its own journey. Even to Jafar, you know, the way that Marwan played that character is so, I think it's so perfect because everything he does comes from an insecurity of him not, not feeling like he is enough. Um, not from the fact that he truly believes that he is, you know, the best. I think that it's not an arrogant place, it's just pure insecurity. Considering that there is a, a lot of things in this movie, can you tell us what is the best scene in Aladdin for you? Uh, you know, I, uh, I grew up uh, watching Will Smith as, as a kid and, uh, you know, I, I watched uh, his movies and I was also uh, very into improv in theater school and in high school. So. My favorite scene, I guess, would be the jam scene that I got to improvise with Will. That was basically a fully improvised scene, so being able to improvise with uh, you know, one of my idols was a dream come true. For me, Will just brings everything that you love about Will Smith 
all of the talents, everything that he's good at, he literally just brings brings all of that into this movie. Um, and I think that you know, even the genie has 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 a journey. And um, you know, that moment that Aladdin sets him free is really emotional. You know, um, even my even the Sultan. You know, everything that he does, um, you see in this movie, it doesn't come from a place of because he's just silly and. Um, it's, it comes from a place of love, he's just fearful um, and he's fearful of what the future holds. So everyone has, you know, has more depth and I think that's really what makes it feel, um, feel different.